Boys and girls, welcome to Poetry Just For You. Today, we will be talking all about teachers. And for that occasion, I have another essay by Dan Valentine. It is called, What is a Teacher? And it tells us all about teachers. Are you ready? Let's listen to what is a teacher. What is a teacher? Well, a teacher is many things. She's knowledge with a smile on her face, democracy with a book in her hand, wisdom with a flick of white chalk dust on her left eyelid. She comes in all sizes and temperaments, short, tall, skinny, plump, laughing, serious, happy, and sad. She's the future of a nation in a dress, love with a college education. In her everyday work week, she's expected to be diplomat, philosopher, politician, fight referee, pediatrician, policewoman, practical nurse, and quiz program conductor. She has little children in her eyes, and all her dreams are young dreams. She's a psychiatrist without a couch, politician without a promise, babysitter without the right to raid the refrigerator. She makes more money than a dishwasher or a ditch digger or a garbage collector. She makes less money than a woman wrestler burlesque dancer, or even the women blackjack dealers in Nevada. Her days are filled with school bells, young chatter, chalk dust, waving hands, questions, and worried parents. A teacher is equally adept at blowing small noses, teaching fractions, putting on galoshes, finding lost mittens in dark cloakrooms and making parents feel good at parent-teacher meetings. She spends four years in college studying hard in order to learn how to make paper pumpkins at Halloween, umpire basketball games at recess time, tell young boys to throw bubble gum in the wastebasket. In addition to knowing all there is to know about reading, writing, and arithmetic, not to mention science, biology, history, and music, a teacher has to be an authority on baseball, grasshoppers, little girls, snakes, young love, little boys, and how to live many months of the year without a fair contract. While grateful parents spend their evenings watching television, attending cocktail parties, complaining about the high cost of the school system, teachers spend their evenings correcting examination papers, smiling at people at parent-teacher meetings. Teachers can be found after school taking aspirins, picking up spitballs, washing blackboards, rehearsing plays, sewing angel costumes for Christmas pageants, and just sitting at the desk waiting for strength to get home. Teachers are expected to keep out of debt, have creative minds but not disagree with the Board of Education, stay away from cigarettes, beer, and bingo games, and give willingly to the United Fund. A teacher dispenses magic, sells futures, sells futures, dreams as her stock in trade. From her small classroom will come the doctor of tomorrow, the men who will go to the moon, the great artists and novelists of the year 2000. 
the industrial tycoons and all the leaders America will need to survive in a puzzled world. She's the future of the world with a ruler in her hand, progress with a pencil, the back of her ear, underpaid, unappreciated at times, harried and overworked. She gains her pay in secret satisfaction. Secretly, she will admit, admit, I have the greatest job of all. And she has, because she holds the history of the world in the palm of her little hand. She's a teacher. And I'll say ditto to the male teachers as well. <laughs>